Hello, greetings, and welcome back for some more Stationeer's Brutal Start on Memus with me, 54 Bear. Um, yes, so there have been some changes. Not many, mainly cosmetic, but we have slightly defunkified the pipework because, to be honest, the hydrogen, uh, the volatile storage was getting a little out of hand. And whilst it was fun adding utility tanks all over the place, I wasn't getting much bang for the buck from it. So, yes, we went with a dedicated uh, insulated storage tank and sort of rationalized the pipework a bit. It's still borderline funky. Um, but, yeah, we will be adding to the complexity of this at, at some point added a second tank um, that's because this one here which is the waste from the combustor down there is pretty much full we've been pulling the water out or the steam i should say we're down to 228 moles at the moment uh, i've turned that off because i was running into a power crunch again so yeah there was a period of time when the station battery I had down there would, had actually got up to blue uh, bars showing it was completely full. Um, I'm increasingly convinced that that was a bug because I'm not running much uh, stuff that consumes power. It's fairly consistent and yeah, the, the battery is now hovering around 10%. Well, I have printed up a couple of advanced tablets so I can look at these things a little bit easier. Yeah, so this is now just coming up to 20%. And yes, I have relocated the battery. I have added another one to it. Um, this is in preparation for this thing. This will be the Sterling Room. So it's 5 by 3 by one uh, Initially, there is just going to be a single sterling engine in here uh, but i wanted room to expand i also wanted a large room so there was a bit more thermal inertia so it means the uh, sterling will be able to run for a little longer before it gets too hot and uh, yeah plus it makes expansion a little bit easier plus i also have need or i suspect i may need some sort of uh, selective manifold and what I mean by that is um, I've got the two uh, waste tanks the pink tanks they will be taking the waste gas from the combustor this one as I mentioned is full now I could just connect the two together and have uh, like double the storage um, that's the easiest way of dealing with it. But what I was thinking of doing is applying like the, the batch process method, like fill one tank up, extract the water out of it as you can. Um, then once most of the water is out, then run the cooling. Uh, sorry, run it through the um, sterling to cool it down prior to filtering out the gases that I may want to keep. Uh, there will be, I mean, the pollutants in there will probably get chucked but the carbon dioxide is useful. The volatiles and the oxygen obviously can be used and the water, hopefully, would all be pulled out. Uh, there's not much nitrogen in there. Um, you know, it's, it's mainly CO2 and pollutants. And the pollutants, I really don't know if I'm going to have much of a use for them. I'm not brave enough or smart enough to figure out the phase change mechanics to use liquid coolants as a cooling mechanism and to be honest i'm on a i'm on a i'm not on vulcan or venus i'm on a vacuum world uh cooling stuff down is relatively easy as long as you can throw enough radiators at it which is what we're going to be doing here we're very similar to uh my main mimus playthrough which i actually haven't visited for a while uh there'll be a bunch of medium-sized radiators outside difference here is I'll have uh, it'll be a sealed cooling system with a uh, 
yeah, a, a load of oxygen and nitrogen. Yeah, basically melted oxide. Um, so I don't know how many I'm going to use. I've printed up 10, like two batches of five. What I'm thinking of doing is having the, uh, the actual radiator on the outside and then the convection radiator on the inside. I just thought that might be interesting. It probably wouldn't be a one for one. It'd probably be two radiators to one convection. Um, just to see how that works. Because otherwise I'm going to have to put up lots and lots of pipe uh, radiators on the inside. And that kind of gets in the way if you want to run cables, if you, uh, uh, well, for running cables or, or, or pipes really. Um, but yeah, what I'm thinking of doing is having both of these tanks wire plumbed over to here and then have a valve on the inside, kind of like I did in the last uh, playthrough, but hopefully a little better organized. So I can select which of the tanks I want to actually run through um, the sterling. Um, I will probably add another two sterling so that we'll go to three in total. Um, not certain. I mean, the the first step is to replace this one. Oh, look at that. We're up to a second bar. And that's because everything, I think this is the only thing that's turned on right now, apart from the uh, IC housing in there and the grow light. Everything else is powered off. So, yeah, even at 600 watts, this thing should still be uh, charging up the battery. This one, the top battery does have a little bit in it, but uh, I turned it off because I... I was having trouble getting these batteries charged up on the outside. Um, search for sea traders is ongoing. And still nothing. No, I don't think any of those are sea traders. <laughs> yeah. That, oh, actually, how long have I got to wait before that rolls over? Another 15 minutes, so that's only just rolled. Yeah, so for the moment I'm living on baked potatoes. That's not so much of an issue. I'm growing two plants. There's tons and tons of water in these uh, hydroponic trays. I I filled up the uh, liquid canister, I think, two, maybe three times. And yeah, oh. Not that I really needed to. The, the first slot I think I put in there was four or five litres and that would have uh, lasted quite a long while. Obviously expanded the uh, platform on the outside so that I've got somewhere to mount the radiators. And I have a little ore pit where I drop stuff that I'm not actually planning on smelting. I, not so why I'm carrying these ones around, so I should just drop these in there too. I think I'm okay for silver. Right, I'll keep that oxide on me because that is what I'm going to use to fill this room. Not quite ready to do that yet. Uh, need to get the sterling built, need to get the uh, basic plumbing done, and uh, yeah, see if we can get cracking on getting that done. Right. Well, I've still got plenty of breathing gas. Um, yeah, nothing else is is changed. Uh, I did get a an actual uh, official notice from the Funky Pipe Club telling me that the reason I was expelled was not because I'd spoke about Funky Pipe Club but because the monstrosity that I put there wasn't actually classified as funky, it was just classified as stupid. And therefore they deemed that sufficient to withdraw my membership. Yeah, their loss. Anyway, hope you found something interesting. Wasn't a particularly uh, 
well, haven't actually built or done anything in this episode. The next one will be me building the uh, sterling and doing the plumbing. If you like seeing that kind of stuff get built, tune in. If not, you may want to skip that one. But thanks for watching this one. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, comments, observations, or even dad jokes, leave them in the comments below, and I'm always happy to read them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. 54 Bear out.